we'll be referring to these controls during this tutorial. The function selector knob, the upper line knob, and the lower line knob. Or think of the upper line knob being used to change the question, and the lower line knob is used to change the answer. Making sure the time and date are set correctly on your WeatherTrack ET Plus is an important first step. Turn the function selector knob to setup to display the year. Turn the lower line knob to adjust the year. Turn the upper line knob to the right to display the month and use the lower line knob to adjust as needed. Turn the upper line knob to the right again to display the day and the lower line knob to make your adjustment. Setting the current time is just as easy. Continue to turn the upper line knob to the right to display the hour and use the lower line knob to adjust. Turn it to the right once again to display the minute and use the lower line knob to make your adjustment. We're almost finished. Turn the upper line knob to the right again and use the lower line knob to select your time zone. Once complete, turn the upper line knob to the right. If you want your controller to follow daylight savings, choose yes. If not, use the lower line knob and select no. Turn the function selector knob to the run position. You have successfully set the time and date on your controller.